Thank you. Welcome today uh, to Ellie Mae's webinar, Grow Business Faster with a Comprehensive CRM. Thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules to join us today. My name is Kim Morris, and I will be moderating the session today. But before we get started, I want to go over a few uh, quick housekeeping items. Uh, for best viewing experience, you can expand your slide area by clicking on the Maximize icon at the top right corner, uh, or by dragging the bottom right-hand corner of the slide viewing area to resize it. If you're mm -hmm. listening through the phone today, please make sure to mute your computer speakers to avoid hearing an echo. If you are listening through your computer speakers, please make sure to check your speaker volume. I also want to mention that we will be providing a copy of the slides and a link to the recording following today's webinar. We have allocated some time at the end of the webinar for Q&A. However, if you'd like to submit a question during the webinar, please do so by typing your questions in the QA pod and click the Submit button. We will try to answer all of those questions by the end of the session today. I want to also share our safe harbor statement, which basically states that this presentation may contain forward-looking statements concerning the timing of certain system feature enhancements. Furthermore, the presentation is strictly for informational purposes only and should not be construed as legal advice. Before I introduce our speakers, I want to quickly go over today's agenda. To start, you will get an overview of why a comprehensive CRM is so important to growing your business, and you will learn more about how the NextGen and Compass CRM can help you achieve this. Next, you will hear how the Federal Savings Bank dramatically grew their business by replacing a fragmented marketing system with a single effective CRM solution. And finally, we hope you leave with a better understanding of why LMA and the benefits of an all-in-one solution. Without further delay, I'd like to introduce today's featured speakers. We are joined today by Jim Blatt. Jim uh, co-founded Mortgage Returns in 2004, bringing consumer and database-driven marketing expertise to the company. As CEO, he led Mortgage Returns in becoming an award-winning provider of on-demand customer relationship management and marketing automation solutions for the mortgage in industry. In 2015, Ellie May acquired Mortgage Returns to en enhance its marketing platform and further the mission of automating the entire end-to-end -end mortgage process for customers. With more than 20 years of senior leadership experience and small business development, Jim now provides strategic direction as the VP of CRM Solutions here at Ellie Mae. We are also uh, joined and pleased to have James Flores, who is the Director of Marketing at the Federal Savings Bank. Um, he's been there since 2011 with over 10 years of mortgage marketing. He's responsible for the development of the brand in both mortgage and the retail, retail banking space. He has also built full-service marketing uh, department plans plays, uh, and also plays an integral part in the onboarding process for new hires and automated marketing solutions that highlights the banker while promoting the bank. With that, I'd like to now turn it over to our first speaker, Jim Blatt, to get things started. Jim, please go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Kim. And welcome, everyone. Thank you for taking some time to uh, learn a little bit about Ellie Mae and the Encompass CRM solution. Um, as, uh, as Kim mentioned, we were uh, acquired last year in the uh, fourth quarter and are now excited to be part of the all-in-one solution that Ellie Mae delivers. CRM is another critical component to the streamlined workflows that are compliant, that are designed to drive efficiency as well as loan quality, and CRM really fits in as an integral part to helping you grow your business. When we look at the industry, we see people taking basically three approaches to how they want to grow their business using an automated marketing uh, system. First is the people that really don't have a formal system, and they really leave it up to their individual loan officers to decide what they're going to execute, how they're going to execute, 
and to go about it that way. We found that this really leads to a wide variance in results and creates significant compliance risk for the enterprise. So people have recognized that and have migrated from there to first a mass marketing system where we really are executing marketing where everyone is treated the same, whether they're customers or prospects or referral partners. We send out blast messages, common messages, generic messages, and again, we lead to subpar results. So it varies by loan officer, varies across enterprises, but ultimately isn't as effective as broader solutions. The next step people take is to bring on a CRM, to try and bring on some of the efficiencies of tracking individual records, executing marketing in an automated way. But here again, there are deficiencies that are in the marketplace, that are deficiencies because they aren't deep database management. They rely on loan officers to execute uh, on a one-by-one -one basis, and they're not integrated into a single system, a single platform. So today, what we've launched is Encompass CRM, which has the advantages of being included in a single platform, an all-in-one system, but also has some distinct advantages over other CRMs in the market. First, one-to-one -one marketing, and I'll go through this in a little more detail, but it really says, am I talking to my individual customers, prospects, and referral partners in an individual manner or in a mass manner? Second, business intelligence. Am I tracking my results, doing peer analysis, and really having experts in mortgage marketing help me maximize my results? Or am I sending things and hoping that they work? Third, compliance and control. Am I taking full advantage of the compliance offerings to tightly control the content that's being executed, what my loan officers are executing to make sure that it is compliant in today's increasingly complex world. Surrounding all that is integration and trying to make sure that the movement of your marketing and your database is as seamless as possible so you take advantage of that all-in-one system. So let's talk about some of the specifics, starting with mass marketing versus one-to-one -one marketing. A lot of systems today execute mass marketing where you're telling all of your clients or a targeted group of your clients, hey, it's time to refinance now. We've done an analysis of database. We know that on average, clients have interest rates that are above the market. In fact, 49% of loans closed in the last five years are at least a half a point above the market. But the question is, what kind of message do you send to those people? Are you targeting them individually, and are you customizing the messages precisely? Versus one-to-one -one marketing, say, to a prospect, where I know a lot of specifics about the individual. They're a first-time home buyer. They're interested in FHA. So I can really customize my marketing content specifically to that individual so it will resonate with them. There are two very dramatic differences in the approach. For me, the best example of this is when I go home from work every day and I pick up my mail. I go straight to the recycle bin and review it because what I normally get is a whole series of offers that are really not customized to me but are customized to everyone in my block or everyone in my neighborhood or everyone in my city, and they're not really relevant, and I end up throwing them all away. Whereas I also get things like a bank statement or a 401k statement that is specifically customized to me. So when you think about mass marketing versus one-to-one -one marketing, think about which group your marketing fits into. Is it the junk mail that makes a five-second impression as someone throws it away, or is it something that they read and hang on to and really resonates with them individually? Here's an example of what that next generation of marketing can look like. It's a piece that gets sent out to clients, past customers, twice a year. It's a semi-annual loan review. It gets personalized to the individual borrower. It's got the details 
of that borrower's loan right in the body of the message, a chart comparing their loan to today's rates so that they can see where they could stack up today. And right below that's a recommendation. And there really are only two recommendations. One is you've got a great rate, feel good, no action required now. Or second, call me, let's do a full analysis of your loan. The threshold, the breakpoint for those two messages can be configured for each client individually. And then, of course, there's the loan officer's contact information as well as some detachable referral cards. When homeowners get a message that's customized at, the, at this level, they don't throw it away. They look at it, they review it, and most importantly, they look at their loan officer differently as someone who is continuing to manage their account, which is probably what your loan officers say they will do at the closing table. We deliver on it. We deliver on it in a fully automated way. Loan officers don't have to do anything. We're going to execute it for them and help them grow their business because they'll be able to drive more business from their past customers. We take this one-to-one -one marketing approach throughout the life cycle of your business. So we start with any source of leads that you have, whether it's from past customers or leads that you're buying or referrals that your loan officers are bringing in or your realtors are bringing in. And our goal is to watch the life cycle. So take someone from a lead to a prospect to an applicant to a customer and then cycle them right back around again. And we know to have people move through these phases, we need to do two things really well. We need to have great loan officers and customer-facing people out there and we need to have marketing that really resonates with those clients to support my personal efforts. So we install one-to-one -one marketing in each of these transition points to maximize the number of people that transition from lead to prospect to applicant to customer and back again. We measure all of these things so that we can report to you how you're doing it versus your peers at these transitions and give you best practices to improve your performance. We also are going to create a workflow that's very automated and is very consistent across all your different lead types. So we're going to pull data from all the different sources, whether it's a purchase list, an online lead form, or things coming through your LOS. We're going to analyze each of those records and in a fully automated way, assign them to the right kind of campaign. We're going to work with your teams up front to define what are the right campaigns to send. We're going to share with you the best practices, and then we're going to put in an automated system to execute that. We're also going to measure the outcomes and drive everything to conversion. So part of those best practices will be to say, one of the things that we should do is set up your loan officers to receive notifications on their phone because loan officers, like most salespeople, aren't always sitting in front of their computer but always have their phone with them, so we want to maximize the outcomes there. So we want to build an automated process to execute marketing, 12 touches to your past customers, to your prospects, to your referral partners, all with the design of maximizing your results. And maximizing results is part of the business intelligence. We want to show you on a regular basis how you're doing relative to your peers. We know that people that have implemented our one-to-one -one marketing systems average 65 loans per loan officer per year, where the industry averages only about 30 loans. So when you look at the average production across your loan officers, you can use this math to quantify what's the opportunity for upgrading to the all-in-one, to the Encompass CRM. These are the types of results that we find from our clients. These are the things that we're going to share with you on a quarterly basis so you can see where you are, how you compare to your peers, and give you advice on how to grow your business.
We were purchased by Ellie Mae in October of last year, and we've already established the near-term roadmap for integration. Our starting projects, our milestone updates, how we can execute marketing to our prospects and to our referral partners as people move through the loan process. So it's a fully automated system where we can execute the marketing that you guys configure, that you guys define to these clients. We're going to start you off with our recommended set of marketing, but all of that is always configurable. We have a push to encompass so that it's easy to take records from the CRM, push them into the LOS, as well as migrations of business contacts and other um, contact information from the LOS into Encompass CRM so that that data is consistent, that data has the quality that you need to it to execute the marketing. We've got a very broad roadmap um, to further help improve your business. Today, we're seeing that our clients are almost twice as productive as the average in the industry. We've got a very broad roadmap to improve that even further, whether it's you know, migrating user profiles from the LOS directly into the CRM, taking advantage of all of the compliance tools that are built into Encompass to maximize and to control content and delivery for your uh, loan officers and on loan officers' behalf, as well as syncing the database and accessing the system right through Encompass. So there's a broad roadmap to further differentiate us from what else is going on in the market today and to help you improve your results and improve your outcomes. I'm excited next to uh, introduce James Flores. He has been a client of Mortgage Returns and now Encompass CRM for nearly 10 years, and they've been on the uh, Encompass platform for about the same amount of time. So with that, I will turn it over to James. Cool. Thank you very much, Jim and Kim, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to spend a few minutes here to explain how the Federal Savings Bank has incorporated uh, mortgage returns and the Encompass CRM uh, into our overall marketing plan. Uh, first, I just wanted to give a little bit of background information about the Federal Savings Bank. Uh, we're a veteran-owned and operated uh, federally chartered bank uh, with a focus on educating our customers on uh, the mortgage process and providing opportunity for home ownership. Uh, we have 21 uh, LPOs, or loan production offices, uh, nationwide. Um, <clears throat> As Jim had mentioned, uh, we are an LMA uh, client since 2007 and uh, have been a mortgage uh, returns customer uh, for uh, about the same time. Uh, we currently have 700 employees nationwide. Um, and when I was initially brought on uh, to the Federal Savings Bank uh, uh, roughly four years ago, um, I was tasked to see if uh, for a CRM solution uh, for the Federal Savings Bank, uh, we looked into different services and we initially uh, entertained the idea of creating our own CRM, but saw that that was very limited uh, and, and obviously went with uh, mortgage returns because it was a, uh, because of the features and the functionality that we'll go over uh, today. Uh, as I mentioned before, we are value partners of LMA since 2007. Um, our CIO, our chief information officer, is a, an executive advisory board member. Uh, and when we learned that Mortgage Returns was uh, recently acquired by LMA and incorporated into now Encompass CRM, uh, it really reaffirmed uh, that we made the right decision for our email marketing solution. So how do we use uh, Encompass CRM? Uh, when our bankers join uh, the Federal Savings Bank, uh, we have a very uh, rigorous onboarding process uh, between the uh, departments. It's very easy for uh, the bankers that are being brought on board, uh, but we really are proactive to get the information that we need uh, from the bankers uh, in order for, um, for them to be onboarded properly. And so from a marketing standpoint, uh, we ask that the banker send their photo, their bio, uh, and their database to get them up and running. Um, so we give them a database template, uh, which gives them the ability to add contact uh, classes and subgroups that uh, will then be uploaded into Mortgage Returns. Um, and once it's received, uh, we activate the banker website 
uh, and we send out their uh, moving announcement. So what you're seeing here is an example of uh, the uh, email template that we've created uh, in mortgage returns. Um, General information about the bank um, explains that the uh, the banker has joined the Federal Savings Bank. Uh, it gives them a direct link to our website, uh, to the banker's site specifically, uh, and the ability to apply online, uh, which is then you know goes in the application is uh, then put into uh, Encompass. It uh, makes it very easy for the banker to uh, continue with the process. Uh, it's very seamless for them. Um, let's see here. And we try to get this email announcement, uh, you know, within a week from their start date, um, just to get them, uh, you know, up and running and to uh, uh, continue the process here. Um, we also use our in the uh, Encompass CRM to create our give them access to our flyer library. So. Um, when the bankers come on board and they've given us their photo and their bio, their active, their database um, and their website has been activated, uh, they have the ability to create customized flyers uh, with their contact information directly off of our intranet. Um, so this is very useful for bankers uh, needing collateral material for open houses and meeting customers, uh, realtors, and referral partners in person. Uh, but we wanted to take, take it a step further and replicate that uh, for the email format. So uh, we went ahead and coded a majority of our flyers uh, into an HTML email format um, and made them available as templates in the premium email library uh, that the bankers have you know, access to at any time. Um, so rather than sending emails as an attachment, um, the HTML email uh, template allows them to view the email uh, in the same layout and design as the flyer um, right when they open up uh, the message. So some of the examples that are shown here, um, the first one that you see is uh, New Leaf success stories. Uh, New Leaf is our credit repair service here at the Federal Savings Bank. So this is um, this would be sent to a customer, a potential client for New Leaf, so they would be enrolled into the program, uh, get to their ideal credit score, and then uh, brought back to the loan officer to continue with the mortgage process. So these are just examples of success stories um, where they, we took them to their ideal credit score and were able to uh, close the loan with them. Uh, the second one you see here, uh, the Jumbo Lender Flyer. So we do a lot of uh, loan programs in the form of uh, product flyers. And so you know, bankers utilize this to you know, the uh, loan program pertaining to uh, the customer. So if they are um, you know, an FHA customer or uh, somebody who's looking to refinance, uh, we have program-specific flyers uh, that the bankers can send out to their customers. Um, kind of general pieces about the bank, um, fast closings with the Federal Savings Bank, the ability to close in uh, 30 days, so that's also available to them. And then the last one that you see there is uh, take a dive under five, it's our refinance campaign. So um, if a potential customer um, can refinance, uh, the banker will send that out to them. Okay. Uh, during the marketing new hire training, a majority of the time is spent explaining uh, mortgage returns as a very robust system um, and, and, and how we use it for all of our email marketing. So uh, we have a dedicated section on the marketing intranet page uh, as a resource for the bankers. Um, there's online videos uh, for training, uh, recorded videos of uh, training with our, our, our rep, uh, Natalie Stevenson. Um, and then also um, resources in the form of you know, PDFs on how to step-by-step -step instructions on how to send out campaigns. So uh, in addition to their campaigns to past clients, agents, referral sources, and friends and family, um, as they start originating loans at Encompass, we explain that all of their prospects are automatically imported into mortgage returns on a nightly basis um, and that they can begin email marketing, marketing to them right away. Um, Mortgage Returns has created a huge library of uh, drip campaigns and premium emails that our bankers uh, like to send out. Um, some examples of those would be the first time home buyer drip campaigns, um, introduction to the company. Um, there are several new drip campaigns that Mortgage Returns has created that's incorporated video uh, like first time for first time home buyers, um, move up campaigns, and also credit campaigns. Um, and we've all also had our closed loans loaded into 
uh, mortgage returns on a weekly basis. Uh, and that's one of the real benefits of the Encompass CRM is through the uh, hot list functionality. Uh, so what you're seeing here is an example of the daily hot list. So uh, the hot list is a subset of bankers' closed loan database that displays a reason to contact the customer uh, as well as their contact information. So um, this has been a great tool for the top bankers at our company who have been here at the Federal Savings Bank for many years, and um, they take advantage of using that hot list because they have, you know, hundreds of loans uh, in their database, in Encompass, and in turn in their mortgage returns database. So um, our secondary marketing department uh, enters in current rates uh, for most of the popular loan programs, um, and then once that data was imported from Encompass into mortgage returns, uh, mortgage returns uh, looks at that loan data, uh, the customer's rate, the loan program, the monthly payment, um, checks it against those rates that uh, secondary marketing has entered in, um, and then it appears on the banker's hot list. So, um, you know, if there's a potential to refinance, if they can save a couple hundred dollars on the customer's monthly payment, um, if they can get a better rate, if it's, you know, half a point lower than what uh, current rate are. Um, that's a huge benefit for, for bankers that have large pipelines, right? So um, we've seen this as a very useful tool. And, and again, um, a lot of our top bankers are using this uh, regularly. Um, and we've seen it so useful that we've actually turned on uh, the daily notifications um, through email by default. So um, on a daily basis, the bankers receive this. Uh, they're able to you know, take that information, uh, give that customer a call. Uh, if they're not able to reach them through phone or email, they can enroll them in a, a drip campaign that's pertaining to um, you know, the trigger. So if they could potentially refinance with them, uh, they can enroll them in a refinance uh, drip campaign. Okay. Um, as mentioned before, our, our bankers have utilized the premium email templates and drip campaigns created by Mortgage Returns, and uh, we love the platform uh, because not only is that available to us, but it allows us to create campaigns specific uh, and br specifically branded for the Federal Savings Bank. So uh, we have monthly campaigns for consumers and ex that explain the different loan programs and or products uh, of the bank and information and news about the bank. Uh, the example given here, we recently launched um, the new the Federal Savings Bank, a new company website. So we, um, you know, the email template shown here explains the benefits and the new features and functionality of our website. Um, our realtor campaign um, really shows how we can grow their business through loan programs and services that differentiate us from uh, any other lender. So uh, the example given here, uh, start your 2016 by saving your money on your monthly mortgage payment. Um, that is actually that's the consumer campaign, but we show um, for realtors, uh, you know, like the benefits of our portfolio program or our credit repair service. Um, the third example that you see here is our weekly newsletter that goes out to both consumers and realtors. It's called Eye on the Market. So it's mortgage news and commentary. It's original content written by uh, here at the Federal Savings Bank uh, that comments on the state of the industry. So um, that goes out every Thursday. So um, with the consumer campaign, um, like I said, it, it explains all the different benefits of uh, uh, loan programs that, about the bank and, and how um, we're different than any other lender. Okay. Uh, we also have the ability to work with our bankers to create really niche or drip campaigns that speak to specific audiences. So, um, like I said before, in mortgage returns, uh, we can assign contact classes, um, customer contact, prospect, referral partner, uh, agent, and then for hiring managers, prospective employee. Um, and then you can even create subclasses there to further categorize. So. Um, the example given here is so Jack Amberg is a mortgage banker here in the suburbs of Chicago. Um, he served in the Army for 26 years, and he has a lot of uh, a lot of his business is providing home ownership for veterans. So um, he really saw a need for a drip campaign specifically for veterans, um, and that he wanted to send out you know every time he he meets somebody out there, um, and he wanted to educate them about the benefits of a VA loan. Um, Jack's a very passionate guy about the about about this, and so when I met with him with the project, he had a lot of ideas and information. So he had over, uh, I think, 20 topics or ideas that he wanted to you know put into a 
drip campaign. Uh, we narrowed it down. We, get, we created a six email drip campaign, um, each focusing on a different benefit of the VA loan. Um, and he has since we've launched it, 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 he's gotten a lot of leads from it already. Um, and he's also taken this content and we've uh, replicated it as a social media campaign as well. Uh, we provide like a, a social media solution for the bankers. So, um, so yeah, that's been great uh, for, for Jack. And it's actually also been utilized by other bankers here um, that also focus on VA lending. Um, the other example uh, shown here, uh, that fourth one, uh, Paul Schumacher is one of the biggest uh, builders in the country, and we've partnered with them to create unique, a unique mortgage product for their construction, new construction customers. Um, so the, the target market in this piece uh, was to advertise to the salespeople uh, that we were talking to um, at these, uh, you know, Paul Schumacher home sales centers. Um, they have a number of lenders that they have a have access to, uh, but we are the ones that, you know, we want to be the first uh, company that they uh, think of when when it comes to mortgage solutions. Um, so we've gone ahead and we create a full library of marketing materials that appear uh, in their sales centers, but we wanted to do more. Uh, we wanted to create a testimonial email uh, that is sent to all the Schumacher uh, home sales reps. Uh, showcasing a particular deal and how uh, easy it was to work with the Federal Savings Bank and highlighting uh, obstacles and how we were able to overcome those uh, along the way. Um, and we have this scheduled uh, to go out first thing Monday morning um, so that it's fresh in their inboxes for the week. Um, and they've you know, loved it so much that they've incorporated as part of their weekly sales meeting um, between all the sales centers um, as a way of acknowledging you know, the, the specific office or the salesperson that was mentioned uh, in, the, uh, in the email. So you can see that we leverage mortgage returns and Encompass CRM to do a ton, uh, essentially all of our email marketing. Uh, we market to realtors and referrals through our recurring campaigns, uh, prospect marketing through all of our automated drip campaigns, um, and veterans through our drip campaigns created on a company and banker level, uh, and then really utilizing that uh, hot list functionality um, to market to our past uh, clients. Um, closed loans, um, and then additional custom marketing through our individualized pieces uh, that we've created. So we're happy to be utilizing the full suite of products uh, provided by Encompass, and the fact that Mortgage Returns is now part of the Encompass CRM uh, really shows that we made the right decision uh, in uh, choosing Mortgage Returns um, and, and Encompass and LMA as a, and the importance of an all-in-one solution. So uh, thank you very much for, uh, for your time. I'm going to hand it back over to Jim. Thanks, James. I, uh, I appreciate you taking some time and uh, showing people uh, the power be behind the all-in-one system. It's always uh, enjoyable to listen to someone who's been a client as long as you um, really show how you can make this system your own. I think we've got a great automated marketing system with a deep library of marketing materials, but it's really important that clients can go in and configure the marketing that goes out the templates, the pieces, the content, all to fit your own branding, to fit your own tone, so that you can win. The next thing I want to do is talk a little bit more about Ellie May. So Ellie May today uh, is, as James alluded, is a very broad system, which has a lot of components to help you grow your business. What we know today is that the mortgage business is complicated. It's got a lot of regulation surrounding the process. And it can be very complicated to have a streamlined approach to closing loans. So what LMA does is takes all of the different components of the mortgage process and creates a single system, a single platform, an all-in-one process to make it a very automated, streamlined approach. Our goal is to automate everything we can to have compliance at every layer, at every step throughout the transaction, and to produce the highest loans, the highest quality of loans that we can. So by having 
that all-in-one platform, you take out the complexity. You take out the need to manage multiple vendors, to have various checks into all the different components of data security by having a single system that manages your loans throughout the entire life cycle, throughout the entire process. LMA has been really successful over the years because we are focused on the mortgage industry. How can we automate everything in the mortgage generation process? We are a public company traded on the New York Stock Exchange uh, over a $2 billion or around a $2 billion market capitalization, and we are the recognized leader in the market. We spend more money trying to innovate and continue to improve our technology and our processes so that we can deliver those things to our clients in a very efficient and automated manner. We all know that uh, the market is increasingly regulated and there are new priorities for regulations that come up constantly. Just when we finish with no before you owe, now we need to work on HMDA requirements. LMA is very consistent in uh, developing and delivering technology to our clients to help them manage all of those complexities and deliver quality loans in an efficient manner. Part of the reason for that is we have the strongest compliance team in the industry. We have internal experts, we have external experts, and are recognized throughout the industry as a real leader in working with all of the various agencies to understand the regulations and deliver them to our clients in an automated way. We work with people from the MBA, the ABA, and CUNA, as well as have relationships throughout the regulator community so that as there are new regulations that are either being considered or coming out to make sure that we understand them, understand the impact on our clients, and help our clients build the right workflows and the right processes so that we are ready before the deadlines, not at the deadline or after the deadline. We spend a lot of time and a lot of energy trying to ensure that our clients have the best information they can. We also share this information on a regular basis. We want to make sure that our clients understand what the best practices are for implementing the LOS, for implementing Encompass, for implementing Encompass CRM, so that we can share with them how to achieve the best outcomes, whether it's trying to grow your business as effectively as possible by implementing Encompass CRM or by implementing Encompass in a manner that leads to the most efficient and compliant and highest quality loans that are possible. We have a deep team that truly understands what those best practices look like and how to deliver them to our clients. We have deep training resources and technical support teams in both California and in Omaha to ensure that we deliver those systems and deliver those trainings um, in a very efficient way that uh, is designed to really help you ultimately grow your business and deliver that in an effective way. So we have a lot of these systems and processes and investments. What are the likely outcomes that our clients see? The average cost to deliver a loan goes up every year, and in fact has nearly doubled over the last five years. What we see for our clients that have implemented the all-in-one system is they're able to deliver loans more efficiently than the average in the market. In fact, the savings are nearly $1,000 per loan for people that use the advantages of the all-in-one system. There's been an independent study that we're happy to share with you that can really outline the details of how we can help you deliver more efficiently. Um, our goal is, again, how can we help you grow your business, do so in a compliant, efficient, and in a quality manner. So that's the quick overview of Ellie May, I'd like to turn it back over to Kim right now, who can uh, lead us with some of the questions. 
Thanks, Jim. Uh, I wanted to thank you and James uh, for your insightful presentation today. And as Jim mentioned, at this time, we're going to be opening up the session for Q&A. Uh, just a reminder, you can type in your questions in the QA pod and click the submit button. We're going to try and get to as many as possible, but for those we don't get to, we will make sure to follow up with you after the session today. To give you a little bit more time to type in your questions, I want to also remind you that we will be providing a link to the recording and a copy of the presentation from today's webinar in the next few days. And before you leave, you can also download additional information that was covered in the session in the resource list pod. Uh, that will include a copy of the Encompass CRM data sheet as well as additional case studies for you to reference. We have quite a few questions coming in, so at this time, let's go ahead and take our first question. And uh, I believe this would be a, a question for you, Jim. The question is, if you create an agent contact and Encompass because they need to be on the CD now, will that data be pushed into the CRM as the loan officer's agent so they don't have to create the contact in the CRM also? That's a great question. It's, you know, one of the real advantages of having uh, mortgage returns as part of LE May is that we really get to have a detailed understanding of the loan production process better than anyone in the market. And so we are building out precisely that functionality right now so that when you use business contacts in Encompass, what's great is they're standardized at the company level. So we want to migrate that data into the uh, CRM associated with the record at the ID level so that now we have consistent realtor and referral partner information in those records. We looked at our 10 million records in our mortgage returns database today, and we know that 17% of them have accurate and quality information for the realtors, in part because that was from prior to no before you owe, so there wasn't really an incentive to you know, create quality information, but we also know now how Encompass manages that process, and we can capitalize on workflows in Encompass to improve the quality of that data so it flows over and automatically creates those records. It's going to be a configurable process because we know not everyone will want to automatically create records in every situation, and so we're uh, working through that right now because it's one of the advantages not that there's a ton of advantages of TRID, is that it requires people to precisely identify the referral partners and to do so in a standard manner. We're going to take advantage of that data and use it. Thanks, Jim. I actually have a second part to that question. Um, uh, the question is, do the milestone updates look at the file contacts or do the agents need to be in the CRM first to get the milestone update? we are going to use what's in Encompass. So we are going to migrate the data directly out of the record in Encompass to the CRM, and we will execute the uh, milestone marketing to those people identified. I also should point out that that is configurable so that each client can define exactly what type of marketing, both content, target, and uh, and milestone specific for what they want to go out. We're going to start with best practices. Here's what we recommend in a standard deployment, but we're also going to train everyone. Here's how you can customize the deployment to work in a level that works for you. We're going to migrate over all of the milestone templates on a regular basis so that they update continually in our system and then build the marketing milestone plans at the template level. So they are as one-to-one, -one, as precise, and as configurable as possible. I should also right. note that the functionality that we're talking about for Encompass users is also available for non-Encompass users. So we work with all of the different loan origination systems out there to uh, create the best functionality. Obviously, for new functionality, we are starting for the integration with Encompass because we're there, 
but we're building all of our functionality in a manner that it will work generally in the market. That's that's a great segue, actually, to the next question that I uh, just saw come in. Um, can you explain a little more about interfaces with other LOSs? Is there a two-way interface? What file format, et cetera? So today we pull data from all the different loan origination systems in the market. And I shouldn't say we pull data, we receive data. We can help our clients build an automated process for uh, clients on loan origination systems that have a more open architecture. We can deploy some software that automates that process in a very seamless and easy way. For clients that use LOSs that are not as open, that are more closed systems, we can work with you individually to actually create some automation uh, configured to your individual instance. So we've worked with, um, I think we have 17 different LOSs that we work with today, ranging in size from uh, someone who created their own loan origination system to obviously up to Encompass, which is the leader in the market. Um, so we've never met anyone who's at an LOS that we can't uh, utilize. There are various levels of functionality that we can bring. Some loan origination systems won't allow two-way communication. Some LOSs are very tight in what data is available, so we would have to look at each LOS individually to configure um, that integration. Thanks, Jim. Um, one, one more question for you. Um, are the email templates responsive? How do these look on mobile devices? They are. So one of the things that we do is we make sure that um, we customize our emails to look good wherever they are. One of the things that's really important in our business intelligence suite is we track open rates. So we can consistently see how effective our emails are at being read. Because ultimately, sending emails doesn't matter if they're not getting opened by your clients, if they're not getting read by your clients. So it's something that we track every day to consistently try to improve our outcomes. I'll give a quick example of this. We know that when people execute mass marketing to their prospects, the average open rate is 15 to 25% for the first email in the campaign, and then it falls off for the second and third email after that. Whereas on our one-to-one -one marketing, our open rates average 35 to 45%, and then remain at that level for the second and third emails. So we know that the content of customizing an email to an individual is critically important. What I'm giving you an example of is a first-time home buyer versus a refi buyer our refinance uh, mortgage versus a move-up buyer, someone who's purchasing a different house. These are three very different loan prospects and should be addressed in different ways. We can fully automate the process of customizing the marketing campaign to that individual so loan officers don't need to do the work. We're going to use the data that's already in the system but we're going to see the outcomes, which are higher readership and higher prospect conversion rates is the result. So understanding what uh, marketing is actually being read by consumers is really the, one of the most important things, more important than just sending emails. It's all about what are the outcomes. Great. All right, I'm going to give you a little break for now, Jim. Um, this next question I'm going to give uh, – uh, to you, James, um, it's directed toward you. Uh, what kind of open rates do you see on your weekly emails to referral partners? Uh, to referral partners, um, let's see here. For the weekly newsletter, uh, because it is mortgage news and commentary, uh, we are seeing more of a uh, a better open rate um, uh, than say like the the realtor campaign, uh, which is kind of a broader message. Um, but for the um, for the weekly newsletter, I, I want to say it, it's it's around 25 percent, uh, and it fluctuates based on uh, subject matter. That's pretty high. 
Um, Paul, uh, another kind of related question. Um, how, how have you used the Encompass CRM report in general? Right. So um, we have, I had mentioned, we have an account manager here. Her name's Natalie Stevenson. We review them quarterly with, uh, with her, um, and we look at uh, ways that we can improve and how we can uh, how we compare to um, other uh, companies that are utilizing uh, mortgage returns. Um, and then loan officers also get individual reports, um, and they have access to uh, access to these reports at any time. So uh, we let the bankers know that we send out a campaign down on their behalf, and then they have the ability to check in or you know a couple of days later um, to see in real time what the uh, open rate is or the success rate for uh, their individual campaigns. Uh, but they also take those indi individual reports and uh, share them with their sales manager. Great. So question, um, just kind of continuing on the uh, same um, kind of line of thought here. Um, marketing creates the templates but allows their mortgage loan officers to send them out when appropriate. So that's the question. In other words, your marketing team doesn't control the sending of emails, et cetera, or again, it's, that's the question that they're posing, that they're asking. Right. So uh, it, we send a majority of the like Federal Savings Bank branded um, uh, messaging. So the the, men the emails that I had mentioned before, uh, the consumer month monthly campaign, the realtor campaign, uh, and the weekly newsletter, those are recurring campaigns. So bankers, uh, we actually send that on on their behalf, and then they are able to measure their performance, and you know all the responses go into their inbox, uh, you know, all the replies. Um, but we give the bankers, you know, the the ability to send out the targeted campaigns, uh, and we give them the proper training to do that. And how, um, you know, if they identify a customer in um, through their hot list functionality of a refinance opportunity, you know, we give them the steps on how to send out the the drip campaign. If they're not able to get a hold of them, obviously they want to try and interact with them over the phone or through email uh, right away. Um, but they have the ability to send out the email campaigns on uh, their behalf and um, mortgage returns also kind of has a safeguard. So, you know, if they um, send out a campaign, um, it'll let them know that, you know, they've received that in the past. So you're not spamming their, their accounts or anything like that. So mortgage returns are smart enough to say, Oh, Hey, by the way, that's already been sent out uh, to that customer. So um, kind of safe there. I think it's an important point also that what you're hearing from James is really what we recommend is best practices, which mm -hmm. is to have a mix of centralized control to marketing as well as allowing individual loan officers to make their own decisions. We know that loan officers don't log into the system every day and aren't necessarily as disciplined as a marketing department. So our recommendation is the marketing department sets up the global settings, what we want to execute to everyone, and then we also train individual loan officers to execute more locally for their targeted opportunities. This is configurable at the client level. We have clients that run the gamut in how they design the system, but we will always share with you what we think are the best practices and will lead to those best marketing outcomes. Great. Thank you both. Um, I think we have time for maybe one or two more questions. Um, question for you, Jim. How long does it take to get started on Encompass CRM? It usually takes us between 30 and 45 days to from the date that we start to the date that we're ready to start training. So it is a very quick process. We've installed our system hundreds of times. We've got a very precise process to it, and we're going to keep you informed throughout the process. We're fast in part because we are able to do this efficiently. We've already got our marketing pieces approved through our attorneys, and we simply understand the process and can really deliver it quickly. So uh, happy to set up any custom customized um, deployment plans that we need to, but we've got a pretty good process to get people up and running, as I said, between 30 and 45 days. Right. And I, I know um, this is top of mind for, for folks, uh, many folks, um, in terms of compliance. 
uh, regulations. So how can you can you tell folks how um, they can use Encompass CRM to maintain compliance with marketing regulations? Talk a little bit about that. Sure. I think that there's a number of ways that uh, Encompass CRM and mortgage returns really deliver compliance in an automated way. First, the content is controlled tightly. So there are permission settings on who can edit and configure the content that's available. So we can really narrow that restriction down to a tight group of people, which is really what we recommend for our clients. Second, by having an automated system in place that's executing marketing on a regular basis on behalf of loan officers, they're not as tempted to go out and create their own. So it's important that because you're supporting them with great marketing that's very automated, they're going to let you do it. And we can still configure the system and, you know, uh, create content that's customized. I think one of the same things that you really heard it from James is that they have really configured their content to hit their branding, to hit their tone, to hit their specific market segments that they're targeting and do so very effectively. Because the system is that configurable, it allows our clients to really capture what they're trying to capture. The other component is tracking. There's a lot of regulations around tracking what you're executing in marketing and keeping records. So we make sure that that is part of our system. Next is because we're part of LED May, there's a single place where you have to look for vendor management, for data security and compliance. Since we're all under the same umbrella, we can streamline that process of vendor management for you, which is certainly one of the critical compliance issues that is facing the industry today. Thanks so much, Jim. I, we have time for one last question, um, and, and this one, uh, again, is, is for you. Uh, the question is, I know several banks um, uh, and mortgage companies that use Encompass in my immediate area. Is there any exclusivity to the use of this CRM? That's a great question. The answer, the, the short answer is no, there is not exclusivity. There are some exclusivity pieces so within some of the pieces that are being sent out, as James mentioned, we don't want an individual realtor to get the exact same um, newsletter from multiple pieces, from multiple loan officers. So there is some exclusivity around specific marketing pieces. But more importantly is the configurability. As you saw for the Federal Savings Bank, they have created – a library that is specifically branded to them that has their value proposition laid out clearly and is developed around their specific target markets and what they're trying to do on the veteran side. So all of our clients can hit their own branding and tone and really use mortgage returns as a platform to execute marketing in a very automated and compliant way to execute their own marketing, as well as use our library for specific opportunities. So we try to make sure that the more configuration that we can give our clients, the more effective their results, so we continually work on that as part of our roadmap. Great. Thank you, Jim. All right. We are out of time, and uh, I want to, again, thank our speakers for today's presentation, uh, both uh, Jim and, and James. If you're interested in learning more about what was co covered in our session today, you can connect with one of us at Ellie May via our website, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter at Ellie May Inc. and or via phone. And with that, I'd like to thank you for taking your time today. And we look forward to meeting you at our next webinar. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone. This concludes today's conference call. You may now disconnect. Presenters, please hold.